So once mm. we had Love Cup, we were like, okay, this is a sound we like, we feel comfortable mm. with. Let's center the album around this. Hi, this is Morko. We're here at Rock'em Ring and Rock'em Park 2024. And I'm really excited to have Hannes from Royal Republic here with me. Hannes is excited to be here. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing? I'm very good. I'm excited. We're just about to hit the stage pretty mm -hmm. much. And uh, it's only the second or third show of the mm -hmm. summer. Uh, okay. So, uh, you know, it takes, takes a little getting into mm -hmm. the whole thing, but I think we're getting there slowly. All right. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Uh, this is already your fifth appearance at Rock'em Ring. Um, how does it feel to keep coming back to this festival? Wait, I mean, you say this a lot of times, but in this mm. case, it's actually yeah. true. Yeah. We love being here, yeah. both at Ring and Park. You yeah. know, people are just the coolest people in the world. Mm. Catering is awesome. Mm. People are, you know, everything mm. is just smooth, mm. nice, cool, and mm. the vibe is great. And mm. you run into so many people that you haven't seen for a long time. Mm. Or you into Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Keanu Reeves, <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, no, but I mean, uh, playing festival summer in general is yeah. like is like a get together of mm. old friends, you mm. know, because you meet a mm. lot of bands only mm. once or twice mm. a year, and and uh, festival season is one of those occasions where you mm. run into people that you only see mm. every now and then. So it's <laughs> it's great. It's like a family mm. reunion every summer. It's cool. Do you have a favorite festival in Germany? Uh, I would say this is it. This actually. is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Class and it's so answer. good being <laughs> able to say this and not lie. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. It's, I, l I love this place. Mm. And what's the differences between festivals in Sweden and in Germany? Al I mean, a lot of things are different. Uh, mostly, and in general, Swedish people tend to... Uh, German people are more like outgoing mm -hmm. they're more like you know what i'm gonna go to a rock show <laughs> even though it's wednesday night i ah, okay. don't know the band but i'm gonna check it out because i want to have mm -hmm. a good time mm -hmm. you know swedes yeah. don't do that swedes go out friday saturday that's okay. it and they get shit faced and they stand <laughs> in the back with their arms crossed <laughs> oh, like damn this. and the funny yeah. thing is i've been hating on swedes mm -hmm. so many times for this particular thing but every time i go to a show i find myself standing in the back oh, with damn. my arms crossed <laughs> so I, i'm making a promise mm. right now to myself that this is the last time i'm hating okay. on the swedes for doing that big S promise it's on tape <laughs> <laughs> camera at least this is a very special weekend for you because you also released your new album, Love Cup. Congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. I already checked it out. It's been a wild ride, but I really, really enjoyed it. It's such a fun record. Uh, thank you very much. I went through the press material and there was like this one quote saying, the album is like a sweaty one-night stand between Metallica and Michael Bolton. Yes. And I think that was such an iconic line. Um, how did you approach writing this album? Or how would Metallica and Michael Bolton even meet? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they did. <laughs> um, I, we approach it the way we usually do. We start off by writing songs pretty much separately, mm. each to their own. Then we mm. send it out. And if every one of us, the four of us, digs mm. the idea, then we mm. meet up in the studio and we keep working mm. on it, turn it into an actual song. And mm. uh, uh, a lot of times... <coughs> It's kind of stale and stiff until we find that one song that mm. kind of, you know, that kind of centers the whole mm. piece. So we find one song and then we go like, okay, now we have this song, let's center everything mm. else around it. Mm. So for Weekend Man, that was uh, When I See You Dance With Another, mm. for Club Majesty, that was Fire Man. This time around, it was Love Cup. So once mm. we had Love Cup, we were like, okay, this is the sound we like, we feel comfortable mm. with, let's center the album around this ah, thing right here. That's an interesting <laughs> approach. Yeah, yeah it, uh, <laughs> it works for us. <laughs> um, there are many like crazy switches in, in many of the songs and yeah, they're, they're pretty fun. But I was, I, was I, demos, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, are you guys having like any discussions like, no, we can't do that. It's, it's too crazy. Are there some people in the band like going that way or are, are you all always like, Fuck, fuck, let's do it. <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, we have a tendency to push the envelope like all the way <laughs> and really go, you know, 100% at least. And yes, there have been occasions when if one of us uh, said, you know what, guys, are we maybe taking <laughs> this just, just a tad too far? And then everyone else goes, no, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? It's not far enough. And then this guy's like, okay. 
Let's just do it. Yeah. So, yeah, we have a tendency to mm. push things. And mm. I think that's a part of, uh, or it is part of our DNA. We've been doing mm. it since since day one. And mm. it's never been like an mm. outspoken thing yeah. that we're like sitting down trying to come up with something that mm. is, you know, completely mm. out of this world or anything. It just happens yeah. b in the moment when we get together. Sounds like there are a lot of laughs in the studio. <laughs> there is uh, a lot of laughs in the studio. We've been crying in the studio. We've been uh, throwing stuff <laughs> oh the wall damn. in the studio. We've been hugging and kissing. And, uh, you know, it's been all yeah. the entire spectrum. Yeah. I mean, the record sounds like that. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, how do you look back on the, uh, the evolution of your sound since We Are The Royal? I mean, it's your mm. fifth album after mm. all. There's been quite a, an evolution, mm. uh, definitely. Same, I mean, same thing applies here. We never sat down and said, now we're going to make this mm. kind of album. It, it just sort of happened organically. Mm. And we have so much... I mean, we, the four of us, we love music. Mm -hmm. We don't love rock and roll in mm -hmm. particular. We yeah. love music in mm -hmm. all shapes and forms. And, and it really, for us to... Mm confine ourselves mm -hmm. in this little s box that is yeah. rock and roll it, th that is not for us we couldn't mm -hmm. do it we would get sick of ourselves mm -hmm. and we would get bored so mm -hmm. we, we we step outside and we mm -hmm. do wh what we like so yeah there has been an evolution and it's been happening very organically mm -hmm. and yeah. i uh, you know when we did we are the royal that was like this is us yeah when we did save the nation this is us <laughs> and then we did, you know weekend yeah. this is us and it's been going like that and now a uh, love cup is mm -hmm. us yeah so you redefined yourselves like with every new album? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Um, something that's very present on these uh, past two records are the 80s influences. Yeah. Uh, what is your personal connection with that era of music? I mean, uh, we, we grew up in the 80s, all four of us, so mm. we kind of have it as, you know, it's mm. in our DNA. It yeah. comes pretty natural. And then we, l we do listen to a lot of 80s mm. music. Mm. Pal said just the other week that he just realized that, you know what, Hannes? I realized that the stuff we listen to backstage yeah. before we go on uh, on stage mm. is pretty much what comes out when we <laughs> write new songs. Yeah. So so for the last tour, for yeah. example, there was a lot of Michael mm. Bolton, yeah. and, you know, <laughs> that sort yeah. of stuff. Belinda Carlisle and mm. Cindy Lauper and that sort of stuff. Mm. And, it, and, and it does reflect on this new album. Yeah. I'd love to see you dancing along to Girls Just Wanna Have Fun uh, backstage. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, are there any 80s bands you'd like to share the stage with? There's a lot of them. Uh, Right, I mean, if you ask me tomorrow, I'll probably have a different answer. But I would really love to share a stage with Belinda Carlyle okay. because I think she's just mm. amazing. Ah, that would be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this year you'll be playing many shows, many festivals. Are there any other other plans you're excited for this year? Right now. Uh, Yes, yeah. it's festival season, which yeah. we are very excited yeah. about. We are always excited about festival season, yeah. season, and this time we actually mm. have a new album oh. uh, out yeah. as well. So uh, we're going to perform these songs for the first time, mm. which is obviously very exciting. Mm. And then we have a tour coming up mm. in November, December, yeah. I think. So we have a lot of stuff to look forward to. It's a, yeah. it's a good time to be in the uh, Royal Republic. Mm. Yeah, beautiful words to close off this interview. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you I for wish you the me. best show. Thank and you yeah, thanks for being here. Yeah.